Anywhere in the world, the Derby is the race that owners, trainers and jockeys want to win. To have your horse's name on the honour roll of the Derby is to have reached the pinnacle and to have proven your horse as the best of their age group that year. The Emirates Singapore Derby is synonymous with excellence and with 18 years of sponsorship, the role that Emirates plays in providing this great race cannot be underplayed. In 2013, we seemingly had a standout in the Emirates Singapore Derby, the brilliant mare Better Life. Can she add the Derby to her resume, which already includes a Gold Cup? Let's find out. A uh, shower of rain, but uh, virtually nothing to, uh, to speak of, so the conditions are very good. 29 degrees at the, at the moment, and we are racing on the short course A, and good 5.0 for the, uh, the turf track. So weather conditions, although we've had that uh, slight shower of rain, pretty well perfect for racing here this afternoon. The Emirates Singapore Derby is the race that all the owners want to win, all the jockeys want to win, and also very special for the trainers. Uh, the first winner I had here uh, was the Derby and uh, he led all the way and uh, it seemed like that straight was never going to finish but uh, he won quite well. Lim's Grand are trying to get to him, hello and goodbye giving Bruce Marcy's first winner and what a winner, the Emirates Singapore Derby. Oh, it's a great feeling, the Derby's a great race. Since they've uh, made it a domestic race it's even better for the owners here so uh, and it's always won by the best horse. Stedman, El Dorado running on with Watch the Crab, the top spin. This is his crowding glory. He gets up by three lengths on El Dorado. Oh yes, he was the best horse in the race. He had the best jockey and gave him the best ride. New Rosewood coming after Race Ahead. Race Ahead holding New Rosewood and Race Ahead wins the day. Yeah, that was a, a, a real highlight too because uh, uh, we put blinkers on in the race for the first time so uh, it, was a, it was a major move. And a, a Fantastic, um, they're always good races to win and uh, there's sort of a bit of a sense of achievement, they take a bit of planning and it's sort of a few months out, quite a, quite a long way out actually, so I'm um, putting a fair bit of effort into it, so it's good for everybody. Just the lead in the derby, Clint races away in a big victory, Clint's going to claim the Emirates Singapore derby by two. Oh fantastic, look yeah no it is, it's a, it's a great feeling for everybody, we really enjoy uh, winning any race, but winning a good race like a derby is a great feeling. For home they come and Redbeard turns for home with a slender lead in the derby. Be ahead, Nandara go up and Chase Me is coming to it very quickly. Magic Marira and Chase Me races away in the derby. Every trainer has dreamed to win a derby and uh, I finally got one. It's one of the most uh, prestigious races to, 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 uh, to win and uh, Definitely uh, for the owners and for yourself. He's going to annihilate them. Deep pockets runs on into second, then Arowana.com, but Chase Me takes out the Emirates Singapore Derby by eight lengths. Uh, the fashion in which he won was uh, was uh, exhilarating, you know. Um, owners were screaming, everybody was so happy that uh, he just drew away from the pack. Um, makes you feel wonderful. Down in the jockey's room and the nerves are growing, the tension is growing as we build up to the Emirates Singapore Derby of 2013. The jockeys are preparing. Just having a look at some of the jockeys here. Saifuddin who's down to ride Meshmaker, a horse who raced well over in Australia. I tell you what, he doesn't look a bad ride in the Derby. Yeah, I just uh, I saw a few uh, uh, races and a uh, few runs that he have. Uh, he come from behind, but I uh, looks like uh, he, he he can take the distance. So I'm quite happy the way he, he runs. Well, he's trained by trainer Cliff Brown, and I think he's got a good chance as well, uh, Meshmaker. Denny Bees, he's joining us. Denny, on one of the really high-quality horses in the race, El Malagro. He's given uh, punters a great sight recently. Can he go all the way in the in the derby? Yeah, let's hope so, Matt. He's ran great in the two lead-up races, and um, he's been uh, very consistent this whole preparation. He's going into uncharted waters out to the 2000 today, but um, I'm sure from the draw we'll have a great run, and uh, he'll be somewhere in the straight, there in the straight. Do you think he'll run the 2000? I think he will. He was beautiful in the Patrons Bowl. He gave me a great ride. He was in my hand all the way. And um, uh, if he can travel like that, um, he'll give himself every opportunity to run it anyway. Well, good luck, Danny. And David Flores, who's been with us in Singapore the last couple of weeks, doing a great job as well. He's down to ride good pack in this race worth over a million dollars, the Emirates Singapore Derby. Davey, um, it's been fantastic to have you here in Singapore and to ride in one of our big races must be a big thrill. Yeah, it's a pleasure actually. It's a privilege to come all the way across, uh, across overseas and, uh, you know, have a, a, a great track and be here with all the good riders and trainers, you know, good horses, good horses. And your horse, Good Packy, he's a pretty solid stayer. He's got to take the next step up to Group 1, but he's got to be some sort of hope. 
Well, it's a challenge, and uh, you know we are we are here for that reason. And uh, the horse, I uh, hopefully I get uh, I get lead, and um, you know I'm going to try to go up there and just show show the way to everybody, and hopefully, you know we end up in the top. Good luck to uh, David Flores, and indeed all the jockeys as they take their chance in the Emirates Singapore Derby of 2013. El Malagro clear, trying to get their masthead late, but El Malagro runs him off their legs and wins by two. Cashluck and Joe Marira, very promising three-year-old. He storms away, and Cashluck easily by four. City lad, 100 metres to go. He's still got a few lengths up his sleeve. It's the old boy, Superzar, who's really coming home strongly. City lad in front, Superzar lunged. Good pack, never went round a horse and he's going to go through and win the race by two. But Trapeus, nice strong win. Trapeus takes it out by Ali. But Feisty Leo, too good, wins again. A half length over top, third natural nice. A gap off to either running tour. Greenstone, but perfectly timed by Magic Man and Greenstone wins it by a length and a half. Darren Gap, the outside, ready to strike, really fighting hard. Darren Gap and ready to strike, it's Darren Gap. The Wild Geese is going to race away in a big performance, two from two in second. Lord Brompton's come from the back of the field, he's sprinting well now. Marcosino joined by Lord Brompton, and Corey Brown gets the winner with Lord Brompton. He Meshmaker down the outside, Gold Roots off, Feisty Leon, Blackjack are coming on well now. It's Blackjack who raced up, grabbed the front. This horse flying for Oscar Chavez. One Ra poked his nose in front and draws away. One Ra over profound. Musketeer begins to fly out under the arches. He's after Alpha Centauri and Musketeers come from last. It's the Great Grey, they're getting close, Daring Journey. The Great Grey's really surging at him now. The Great Grey, he thunders home. Better Life reaches the lead. Ready to strike Nandara, stay on strongly. Better Life in front and she's too good for them. Takes the QE2 Cup. Coming in at Razir of Sydney, through on the inside for Burton. Hits the front, Razir of Sydney and takes it out. The Emirates Singapore Derby for 2013. And, and runners are in the parade ring now. $1.15 million in prize money. This is uh, Trapeus. Now he's drawn the outermost gate. In his last run, he had a tendency to, to hang a little bit around the bends. This will be the first time taking two bends in Singapore. And he worked quite well on Wednesday morning, but the biggest issue with him is, of course, the barrier draw. He's drawn very wide. He's a little bit toey just uh, going past me now. Greg Cheen takes the ride. Manuel Nunes has had a good afternoon. He's aboard Wild Geese for Steve Burridge. He's been hitting the line very strongly. Gets out to 2,000 metres for the first time in Singapore. Yeah, better life. Alan Munro takes the ride. We'll get more pictures of her on the other side, but uh, certainly the, the one to beat. Drawn nice and low in uh, gate number two. Takioka with two runners, of course, it and uh, also Musketeer. So all the preparations have been completed. The parade ring has been completed. They're off to the start for the Emirates Singapore Derby. Back in a moment with a great race. Thank you.